as they are not on either line chart this night. And we're underway as Niagara controls the opening draw. Down, Cox save made by McClellan. One timer, Stenland scores. It was kind of a broken shot. Yeah, it was. He, he didn't get it. all of it. No, he did not. It looked like it maybe hit more off towards the heel of the stick as it looked like the initial, in, initial intention was to try. Brandon Stanley has it. Stanley behind the goal. Backhand stopper, rebound there, they score! It's finished up by Ryan Cox on the backhand. And Niagara has tied it at two. Yeah, the Purple Eagles have been really crashing the net hard in this second period and it's paid dividends now twice as you see right here. Initial save made, unable to stop Cox on the rebound. Fedjuov has a stick held, no call. Maziars sifts one through the D. Here's Fedjuov down the right side, blew the hash mark, sharp angle, fought off Beltre, and he smothers it about five feet outside. The teams have really done a nice job of keeping things mostly to the outside in this one. Here's Summer down the left side, speed, shot, score! Oh, Walker Summer! Got around the D, got down the left side. He beats McClellan to the blocker, and Niagara has their first lead of the night. And they're talking things over here, not even celebrating yet. They know that their work's not done. As they're making sure Summer's okay, but they collected there for a second and talked some things over, it looked like, as he gets his way back to the bench. And that was a great score there by him. Side of the net, loose in front. It's still loose. They jam it. Norton can't get a stick on it. Down to 10 seconds. It's popped up. Maziars keeps it alive. Shot blocked out to the point. And Niagara gonna hustle back. It's a foot race. And the Purple Eagles win the hockey game. Three, two. They survive. They score three straight. And they knock off the Lakers. Very impressive comeback right there by the Purple Eagles. You know, and, and we didn't even really mention it. They had a really long layoff at one point during the season where they had 10 games postponed. So this season's almost been broken up into two different seasons for them and really good job by them, bringing some energy. I want to, want to thank everybody that supported us this whole year. And, and uh, now, it's, now it's, like they said, the regular season's over and now it's time for the postseason. And uh, we're excited about the ride and the opportunity to do this. I want to thank the administration and everybody at Niagara University that's helped us and given us the opportunity to play. Uh, you know, I thought Mercyhurst was, was really strong tonight. They got better and better as the game went on. I thought their best period was the third period, and they put a really good push on us. Chad Beltry was, was the difference during that push. A lot of past uh, Purple Eagles reached out this week, and sent me texts and, and wanted me to pass on best wishes to our team. And I've already received some texts from alumni outside of hockey players and, and the coaches back on campus. And just really excited to see the community that supports us at Niagara and all the people that care about what we're doing here and, and how uncommon we are. So, you know, I think that speaks to the environment that we have here and, and the environment that these seniors have created. It's, it was a special week last week for the seniors and, and their parents not being able to be here, but I thought the parents did a phenomenal job with the videos that they created. And really, although they weren't there, it felt like they were there and, and their words were heartfelt and really hit our guys in a good spot. So impressed with, with the seniors and the parents. And, you know, we're really working on playing for the guy to the left of you and the guy to the right of you. And, and I think that's where you saw our offense come out tonight. And uh, John Hill made an unbelievable play to, to take a cross check to his tee to allow us to get that first power play and ultimately Ludwig Stenland scores and gives us a chance to get going a little bit there. And, and that was a big time play that a lot of people probably didn't notice, but big time play by John Hill not to respond. He was above the line and self-disciplined and, and got us that opportunity. Uh, defensively, obviously Chad was outstanding for us. He, uh, we had some challenges by losing Chris Harper, who arguably, in my opinion, is perhaps the best D in, in the conference or and, uh, and so he goes out, that makes it hard. Now we're down to five guys and those guys logged a ton of minutes. So they found a way. I thought our forwards did a real good job pressuring pucks for most of the night. Uh, we got a little loose there in the third period, but something we'll address and, and work on. And then the special teams were, were the difference maker for us, right? So it was uh, a great effort by the coaching staff that uh, Coach Lidget in charge of the PK and Coach Mark in charge of the PP to get us, get us one. And, 
uh, ultimately was the difference.